Heartbreaking, Serious Young Insects, an interesting debut from this three-piece Melbourne band. All members have had a hand in writing the songs and also co-produced the album with ex-Skyhooks producer John French. Housebreaking, Serious Young Insects. Right, the guys that have this album, Housebreaking Around at the Moment, are the Serious Young Insects. Peter Farnan, Mark White, Michael Valance. Did I get it in the right yeah, order? Right. Thank God. But you haven't had much sleep either, eh? No, I've had a not much. pretty toss and turny night, only at about yeah. three, three and a half. The Serious Young Insects, why serious? It could have been the Happy Young Insects, could it? Something else? Oh, I suppose, yeah. Why, why serious? Because when we started, we uh, didn't want to seem too serious. Mm -hmm. So we picked mm -hmm. a bit of a silly name. So it was the, the back around thing, you were throwing yeah. it up at people. But actually, we held a seance. That's where we got the name from. Mm. A seance? Yeah. Where was that held? Oh, in um, Melbourne. Hell. <laughs> in, in, in Melbourne? Yeah. Who did you talk with? Uh, Kevin Arnett. <laughs> I love that. And Don Lane? Yeah, yeah. He came into it, yeah. <laughs> but he hasn't gone that long. Um, <laughs> you were going to be five-piece initially, weren't you? Originally. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Did you ever get to have five members? Not live. We uh, we started off with five rehearsing. Right. And uh, we, we couldn't, we didn't get far enough and they left the band and we couldn't get other members, so we, we remained three-piece. Michael, it's a nice, now fat-sounding three-piece band. Mm. Are you happy with it or do you think you might extend as you go along? Phil, oh, we like it the way it is now. We, we don't really see us having any more members in the near future. Yeah, we use, oh, we're using other instruments now, like keyboards and drum machine occasionally. And yeah. Mick wants to get bass pedals, but we'd rather sort of do everything ourselves. Right. Pete, each of you write songs, and is it true that you only sing your own songs on stage? Well, no, those sort of boundaries are more blurred, like a... We tend to write together as well, and we sometimes write in pairs. Fine. And so uh, it doesn't always work that way. Like most often, Mark will tend to sing group compositions because he's got the best voice. Right. But even that isn't a rule of thumb either. W with the housebreaking, the title track of the album, two people wrote that, correct? Yeah, that's Mark and Peter. Peter and, and who yeah. sings that one? I sing that one. So you snuck that one away. There's a track on it called Safe. It's written by Michael. Mm. It's about something to do with someone broke into your house. Losing money, Tell us yeah. the story, will you? Well, we were in Sydney and we were here for about two weeks or so and uh, I arrived home to find some passbooks missing. Mm -hmm. One at first and I just thought oh, I'd lost it or, right. you know, it was in the car or something and I just rolled up to the bank and uh, they said, uh, you know, You've got Stop everything's that. gone. <laughs> That's it. And I was, you know, almost fainted on the spot. And uh, so hence safe. About a year ago, that yeah. You should have had a safe. Yeah. <laughs> the whole thing is about the breaking down of a household, isn't it? Is the, that's the full overall theme. Well, of the it's album. not. It wasn't a conscious theme. It was just a thread it, we sort of found right. running through we, towards the end of recording the album. Yeah, we were initially just going to have it a, a self-titled album. Yeah. But we've. You know, we noticed a couple of songs on it with, to they do with together. domestic mm. things. Yeah. Right. Why, it took a long time. What were the problems that you had? You, you started off... Recording. Yeah, yeah, a fair while ago, didn't uh, you, to put the, the thing down? Yeah, well, the album took two months. We were in the studio for two months, January and February. Right. Um, is that what you're talking about? Or yeah, before? and then did you, yeah. did you have your producer at that time? Well, didn't you start off initially doing it yourself? Yeah, well, we... Well, yeah, it was going to be just us producing yeah. it, but... Um, John French, the engineer, um, just sort of made a few suggestions here and there. And right. We got along really well with him, and uh, so we sort of worked as a team, but it wasn't any plan, really. John, John's done records like uh, he did the Dingo's first album. Oh, yeah, and, he's been around And uh, long the Skyhooks, and he's done everything, mm. and we, we had to bow to his experience because he tended to know what, what was right and what was wrong. Yeah. I like some of the comments that he's made about this group. He said, very good uh, professional little blokes get, get in there, play your instruments better than the... He's seen a lot of people play them and he figured that it, you were a good bunch to work with, so he was quite happy to do the, mm. the whole session with you. Yeah. yeah, he was happy to do something new too. Mm. Mm. He was eager to do it. <clears throat> a, a new band that was fairly young. Yeah. And, we the young insects. With that feel. What do you think about the overseas bands? Like you've you've uh, supported XTC, Cure, Magazine. Are they the only three? Oh, well, we did the Pretenders um, earlier on. Was it this mm. one? Yeah. yeah. And um, we did Ian Jury too. We even did Mike Oldfield in Melbourne. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's most so there's six one. now. Yeah. 
Now, how do you feel you shape up against them, and how do you think Australia shapes up the the top of um, echelon of bands against those bands that come in from overseas? Well, it, in a support capacity, it's a bit difficult to mount a show as big as say, a support band yeah. coming through because right. of the limitations. We still found them pretty good, though. Yeah, no, pretty good. Like the first three. Um, XTC Cure in the magazine, they were all at the Crystal Ballroom in Melbourne. Yeah. And they were all fairly good, like we got, like we put on a fairly good show and the audience liked it. Right. What about Jury? That was good. Yeah, that was really good too. good too, yeah. What do you think, Aussie bands, how do you think they shape up? Are we on a par? Oh, yeah. Pro I mean, it's fairly different. Professionalism and everything we certainly are, yeah. Yeah. For sure. So oh, it's yeah. full steam ahead for the Aussies? Mm. I guess so, yeah. yeah. Okay, it's full steam ahead for the serious young insects too. We'll have a look at their first single. This is off the housebreaking... Album produced Coley.